Hello, Mioni here and welcome back to another news video. This is a short one, but one I thought was interesting nonetheless. A new dev blog entry on the Japanese Lodestone page for Final Fantasy XIV, and that is for the 4.3 Primal song lyrics. Note they're actually not naming the Primal. On the actual blog entry itself at the start, they do have this big red section that says, Warning, this article contains a critical spoiler about the main story of 4.3. They're talking about this project manager Rin, that's all it says is this person's name, who is responsible for devising the lyrics essentially for primal songs, or at least was responsible for the Sukiyomi fight. And during the main storyline, people got very attached to this character, and the primal itself is a very good representation of how to do a storyline well and incorporate a really good challenging boss fight as well for the extreme version. The lyrics for the actual fight actually tell a bit of a more hidden story. These lyrics weren't previously available and hadn't been translated previously anywhere, but finally we get translations to them. Westward lies bleed toward the east. Westward daughter, step into the night. Restless eyes, blind to the beast, barren waters yield unto the tide. So obviously the lyrics are sort of trying to express the feelings that Tsukiyomi herself is actually experiencing during the fight and indeed a retelling of all of her history up until this point, expressing the voices of those who have restrained her and punished her with several male voices on the chorus of the track. It's structured that both parties multiply throughout the whole song until it reaches a crescendo, which ultimately is what resulted in this outburst. It's fair to say that Square Enix should be incredibly proud of both the design of the fight, but also all of the effort that they put into things like music, especially the lyrics. Having the lyrics to this fight does actually give much greater meaning to the character that they're portraying, and I think a lot of people will attack to the various words very differently from other people, as everyone has had a different opinion in their experience with that character throughout the Stormblood storyline. Myself personally, I believe that she was acting out of her own misjudgment. She was enforcing these rules, but it wasn't truly what she was. At heart, she was split into two separate characters, which is why on Tsukuyumi's model herself, you see a black and a white side. It's representing the good within her and the evil within her, and they're clashing to this massive crescendo, literally, of her eruption as this primal being. It's really interesting, and hopefully the dev blog in its entirety gets translated later on the NA Lodestone it no doubt will, but I thought it was as interesting to look at nonetheless. What were your favourite moments from this storyline? Do you believe that Tsukiyomi was as good as I think it was in terms of an extreme fight and a very challenging normal fight, especially when you go into it blind? Thank you kindly for watching, and I'll see you all next time.